everyone, it's me, the Otaku Fango, here to review episode 7 of Uta no Prinsama, Meiji Love Legend Star, or Uta Pri, fourth season. Alright, that was a very interesting episode, actually. Um, so Satsuki's, uh, gone, I guess, which kind of stinks, because I kind of liked Satsuki as a character, because it was really interesting having, you know, Natsuki switch to Satsuki, and it was really interesting, but it's like, well, you know, he had to go sometime, so... And, you know, Natsuki had to get over that uh, one of these days, and finally he did. And Nagi, um, <laughs> the one he's paired with for their duet song, um, he's just like, oh, it's gonna be cute! And, and then he figures out that um, Natsuki has the other side to him, and he tries to bring that out a lot, and he's, you know, trying to be kind of... Now, I don't want to say evil, but he's kind of scheming, you know, a little bit. So it's like, oh, here we go. Um, <laughs> but, yeah. So, the song this episode around, oh, this one was great. I loved the song. I loved the music to it. The lyrics were great. And the atmosphere. It was so Halloween-themed. And I'm like, why didn't they do this episode earlier? Because Halloween, but okay. Um, it was really great. I really liked this one. Just visually, it was really appealing. And song-wise, it wasn't bad. Um, I kind of wish Nagi would have gotten a little more character development, because it's like, you know, we've had three seasons to develop this Natsuki and Satsuki thing, but no, we're gonna do it in the fourth season. Okay, I guess there wasn't much to Nagi's character at all, so <laughs> moving on. Um, yeah, uh, we get to learn lots of things. Like, Parts where, like, like you see Satsuki, like, you know, doesn't have clothes on. And he's like, you know, I guess in, like, Natsuki's mind, I'm just like, why doesn't he have clothes on? <laughs> I mean, probably for fan service things, but seriously, just, just why? <laughs> oh, man. But anyway, um, you know, it was a good episode, you know, learning stuff about them as the same person. Like, that's the thing, though, is that... Like, I feel like it's a mental thing with uh, Natsuki, is that, you know, he created Satsuki because he's just, I don't know, it's it's very weird when you think about it, because it's just like, they don't really try to explain why Satsuki's there to, per se, he's just kind of there. I mean, sure, you know, there was a whole thing in Natsuki's past that probably created Satsuki, but it's just kind of weird. I don't know how to explain it, but... You know, um, because the part, the part when, uh, Satsuki took over Natsuki completely, when, like, you know, usually he puts the glasses on and disappears, uh, or they come off and he appears, but one time, you know, he didn't disappear at all, he could wear the glasses just fine, so I'm like, it's, it's a mental thing, it's not a magical power thing, you know, like, two people are inside him, because I always had this kind of theory that maybe Satsuki was, like, his unborn twin and his soul went into Natsuki, but probably not! Maybe? I don't know. That'd be kind of interesting, I feel like, you know, if they kind of said that, like, oh, Natsuki had an unborn twin and then the soul and then the... I think, like, but that's for a more of a different anime genre than what this genre is. But it'd still be kind of interesting because, I mean, we have a robot and we have a cat boy. So, I mean, why wouldn't they do the whole soul thing? But whatever. Um, Haruka got a little more screen time this episode, which was nice, and it was kind of cute when, uh, they both gave her a jacket, and I was like, ah, oh, that's cute. Her little sneeze was kind of cute. I was like, ah, oh, poor Haruka. She's gonna get sick and die. No. <laughs> oh, gosh, that'd be awful. Um, yeah, this was an overall good episode. Just, I really wish Naki would have gotten some more character development than what he did, because it was like, okay. Um, but overall, good episode. It, uh, animation is <laughs> way better this time around. Like, Ren's episode, it was like, there were times where it flip-flopped. This one actually was very decent all the way through, which was nice. Um, so next episode, I don't know what's gonna happen, but I feel like I want to say it's, uh, whose turn could it be? Who's left? I'm not exactly sure who's left. I think it's Masato is left, yeah, I, I think, and I'm not sure who else is left, but I don't know who's gonna be next. It's gonna be interesting, whoever's next. Um, so we've done a lot of characters, we've gone through a lot of them, so, and we're only on the seventh episode, we still got a little bit more to go, so, I just wanna see Itoki's and, uh, the other dude's episode, because I'm just like, oh boy, they could do so many things with that episode, that'd be really interesting, but, anyway, uh, what'd you guys think of this episode of Utapri, and I'll see you guys in whatever I review next. Bye!